My name is Luke Erber. I'm a postdoctoral research associate in the Tetrakova lab at the University of Minnesota. I am studying DNA protein crosslinks. These are bulky DNA lesions that inhibit DNA replication, transcription, and I'm studying how these bulky lesions are repaired. So DNA protein crosslinks are either formed at the epigenetic site or they block the activity of epigenetic readers and writers, inhibiting natural epigenetic processes. So it's, it's important we understand how these DNA protein crosslinks are formed and you know, what kind of exposures are linked to this increased risk of DNA protein formation. And we're also interested in knowing how these DNA protein crosslinks are repaired at these epigenetic sites so we can come up with new therapeutics in order to combat these lesions. So the, the Tetrakova lab is quite special. We have access to a large number of instrumentation, so including a, a low resolution triple quadrupole, which is important for our analytical chemistry work, as well as a, a high resolution Orbitrap mass spectrometer. Uh, this allows us to carry out a diverse number of functions in the lab, both uh, giving us high mass accuracy and resolution, and the molecules that we're studying, but allows us to also study a diverse set of molecules ranging from both large intact proteins down to small uh, carcinogenic molecules that might be found in the environment. Uh, we also have a large number of interests in the lab, and this is quite a, a collaborative environment. Uh, we're interested not only in uh, synthesis of small molecules, but then carrying out that synthesis in a way that helps support work in epigenetics, uh, both creating standards, uh, being able to develop a new methodology for epigenetic study. So this lab is on the, uh, the forefront of epigenetic. Uh, we have some unique capabilities and interests in uh, using mass spectrometry to directly quantify epigenetic markers. And we also have capability for studying uh, these epigenetic readers and writers, both through proteomics, but also through these developed uh, genomics technologies.